Uh, my name is Emre Aytemur. I am lecturer in economics at the University of Leicester. Game theory was popularized uh, especially in in 50s and uh, basically it was used to analyze and predict outcomes of complex situations uh, involving strategic interactions between uh, different players. These players could be countries, these players could be regular people, these players could be firms. And for instance, uh, one of the first use of game theory was to analyze uh, nuclear conf possible nuclear conflict between the Soviet Union and the United States during the Cold War. And uh, game theory not only uh, helps us to predict the outcomes of complex situations, but also once we understand the implications of the rules of the game on the outcome, we can start to try to change the rules of the game slightly so that the outcome produced is better from the society point of view. A good and simple example of game theory will be, for instance, a famous football player Messi shooting a penalty kick. So let's assume Messi is very strong to shoot on the right side of the goal. Uh, so should we think that his best strategy is always to shoot on the right side? No, that's not true, because if he did that, the goalkeeper will foresee this and save the penalty. So you, we see that Messi should occasionally shoot on the left side so that the goalkeeper is unsure about the side Messi will shoot at and this will increase the chance of uh, scoring a goal for Messi. Okay, so let's think about now how Messi can improve his strategy. Uh, Messi needs to think about what the goalkeeper thinks about, right? So the goalkeeper thinks Messi's strong side is on the right side, however, he occasionally shoots on the left side. So the goalkeeper will probably choose the right side more often than the left side, but he cannot completely ignore the left side either. So now imagine Messi's improve shooting, his shooting skills on the left side. So what changes for the goalkeeper? The goalkeeper will, will start to jump to the left side more often, right? Because the left side became stronger now. So it became more of a threat. So, uh, so which implies that the goalkeeper will jump to the right side a bit less often than before, which is the strong side for Messi. So we can see that by strengthening his weaker side, the left side, Messi can afford to shoot more on his stronger side, which is the right side. So overall, we can see that Messi will score more goals. So it's a successful improvement on his strategy. I hope you enjoyed what you heard. If you want to learn much more about game theory and other theories in economics, come join us at the University of Leicester.